Hello Falcons fans and welcome to another edition, the first one in season of Falcons TV brought to you by La Quinta and and we're only bringing two goal scorers in for our Falcons TV to start. We're going to bring in Lucas Lassio. We had a two goal performance last night. First of all, congratulations on the W and you know, what does it feel to get the monkey off the back and finally get that win? Uh, it feels huge. You know, uh, we've been pushing real hard. You know, coaches have been working so hard with us and that. Uh, so to see it all finally come together and uh, get that win, especially against a good team like that, it feels real good in the locker room. Well, was it frustrating, especially against Wilkes-Barre Scranton, when you guys are throwing pucks on the net? I mean, 37 shots against Matt Murray. You weren't able to get anything through on that home game. And then again on Saturday, you guys had a rough go. You were throwing shots everywhere. Uh, in your vantage point, is it frustrating when you're not having anything go through? Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, all our top six, nine guys, you know, weren't really getting on the score sheet. So, yeah, frustration was uh, starting to build up for sure, and everybody saw it in that. But, uh, you know, at times like that, that's when our good coaching comes in. And, uh, you know, we got to stick to our systems and that, and we know that when we execute, uh, we, have, uh, we have a winning structure. So, uh, you know, like I said, it finally came together uh, last night with that performance, and I thought it was huge for our team. You're playing with guys that you're familiar with, Henrik Samuelson, Brendan Shinneman. Uh, what's it like playing with those two, and how do they kind of dictate to your style of play? Uh, well, they're great players. You know, I think we all complement uh, each other. You know, we all bring a different uh, asset to the line in that, and uh, we work well together. Obviously, we had a pretty good game last game, the three of us. So uh, for us, it's just building on uh, what we did last game and uh, hopefully uh, having, having another good one tomorrow. And welcome to Springfield. First off, uh, it, it's uh, you know a new experience for you. you. Played with Portland prior. You played with Arizona last year as well. Uh, you know, what are some hot spots that you're going to in Springfield, and how do you like it? Uh, you know, hot spots. Uh, really, I'm not really much of a you know go out type of guy to eat and that. I like uh, making my own stuff at home. But uh, the place we were going to was uh, that Theodore's place was uh, pretty good that we went to. Um, uh, uh, Bruce had a friend there that owns a Hofbra House. Mm -hmm. That was a really, really good spot. Uh, really good owner there, really nice owner. So I'll probably hit, head there a few times more for sure. But uh, yeah, you know, just starting, uh, just kind of getting familiar with the city still. And, uh, you know, just, uh, yeah, but uh, more of a home guy, especially with uh, eating and that. So what's your go-to meal that you cook? Uh, we cook a bunch at home, but uh, probably before a game, just, uh, I guess, pasta and chicken, pretty standard, you know, um, like a lot of salads, greens and that. So, uh, so yeah, I'm a pretty standard guy when it comes to that stuff. You also got uh, a little bit of a music background too. Uh, you know, talk about that. Uh, you're a little bit of a DJ, right? Yeah, I know. I try to be my, my buddy's DJ back home. I kind of uh, kind of got into it through them. Uh, you know, I love music and stuff, especially that new EDM and uh, Deep House era. So uh, yeah, I enjoy listening to it and that. Uh, I mixed uh, mixed a warm up for our team last year. I'll prob probably. Uh, Get into one this year when uh, the equipment gets here and stuff. We got a little turntable, me and uh, Brendan Shinneman. So, uh, yeah, probably uh, once once that comes, we'll probably get a little uh, pregame warm up mix going for the guys. Do you have a DJ nickname? Uh, no, not really. Just DJ Less. Okay. It's, uh, less is more. <laughs> the guys call me. Yeah, so we have fun with it. So it's pretty good. All right, I, I gotta throw a band name out to you. Are you familiar with Time Flies? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that, that's one of my favorite groups. So I. For sure. If you like them, then we're going to be best friends. Yeah, I know. They're good, yeah. <laughs> All right, fans. That's DJ Less Is More. Thanks for watching.